Hello, everybody. My name is Elton. I'm Amelia. How old are you, Amelia? Six. Six years old. And what grade are you in? First. And what school do you go to? Trinity. Trinity Lutheran School. And I'm wearing the shirt. And you're wearing the shirt. Yep. The Trinity Spartans. Today, we're going to talk about the Ten Commandments. And we have a really fun and easy way to remember them. Yes. Now, the Ten Commandments were God's laws that he gave to his people. Yes. Is it good to have laws? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It helps to protect you. And it helps people to get along with each other. The children of Israel, and most of the adults, all the grown-ups, were slaves in Egypt for a long, long time, for hundreds of years. And then when Moses led the children of Israel, and the grown-ups, out of Egypt, it was the first time that they had ever been on their own without the Egyptians ruling over them and telling them what they could and couldn't do. So God had Moses go up to the top of a very high mountain called Mount Sinai, and he gave him the Ten Commandments, which were carved on two tablets of stone, just like the ones Amelia is holding, although they might have been a little bigger than that. Yes. Today we're going to talk about the Ten Commandments and we're going to learn them with a song and with hand gestures and motions and Amelia is really good at it. Yeah. So first let's show them the song and then we'll explain oh, wait, what everything means. Okay. Yeah. Thou, Thou shalt have, have no other gods, gods before me, no, no graven images or take thy name in vain. vain. Remember, Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill or commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal or bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. With this the law is finished. These are the Lord's Ten Commandments. Now let's talk about what they all mean. Okay, I think we will. And then, but... Yeah. Oh, I will. I will. Now, a good resource for learning about the Ten Commandments is this book. Yes. It's Luther's Small Catechism for Kids, and it's available through Concordia House Publishing. Martin Luther wrote the Small Catechism with the idea of teaching children in mind, but he wrote it back in the 1500s, and it's a little wordy. So this is just a more kid-friendly, easier-to-understand version of it with pictures and cool illustrations. And you can, there's a whole section about the Ten Commandments. So we're going to start yes. by... and this is a bookmark that someone colored for me. Yeah, your big, oh, your friend Emmy made it for you. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's, let's talk about the first commandment and the hand motion. The first hand motion we do is this. Number one, why is that? Because you always... Because God is number one. God is number one in your life, right? Mm -hmm. And thou shall have no, no other, other gods. God. Why is this important? I'll tell you. Because, because when they came from a land called Egypt, where they worshipped a ton of different gods, and God said, no, 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 and not anymore. Too many. Not anymore. I am your God, and you are to be my people. So I don't want you to worship any other gods but me, right? Mm -hmm. Because I am the one true God. All right, so that's the first commandment. Yes. The second hand I gesture. I in images. We hold up two fingers, one on each hand, our pointer fingers. And, and the one pointer finger bows to the other pointer finger because this one is sort of like a fake God, an, yes. an idol. Thou shall have no graven images yes. and so yeah, I'll show you now. What is a graven image? That's kind of a fancy. It's like a carved statue that like some people bow down to. Like like one of these. Yes, like sometimes people. In they, Egypt, especially. Sometimes people have. In Greece and other sometimes places. people have gold and they bow down to the gold. Right, like the story of the golden calf in the Bible. This is a. A statue of an Egyptian goddess named Isis. This she was one, the Egyptian princess. This one's a statue of Osiris. Now, I'm Egyptian king. I'm interested in history and I collect Egyptian stuff. 
But would we pray to those? No. Would we bow down and Woo! worship them? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Just let it go. Would we bow down and worship them? Yeah. No. Because these <sighs> are not the one true God. Yeah. All right. Then I'll take that from you. Okay. So n commandment number two <clears throat> was no graven images. Imagine. Number three. three. And we it's... are going to hold up our three fingers just like the Girl Scout salute. And we, it means we're holding, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it's also commandment number three. And we're holding up our first finger, our middle finger, and our ring finger. And then we cover our mouth. We take, we show it, and we cover our mouth. Thou, <clears throat> or take thy name in vain. That means we should never use God's name in a bad way. That's right. We should always say it with love and respect. Right? Yes. yes. All right, commandment number four, and we hold up our four fingers, kind of like a stop sign, to stop and remember. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Now, what is the Sabbath? The Sabbath is, you know how after God created the world for six days? Yes. Well, on the seventh day he rested so we should always remember that he rested so remember to keep the sabbath holy by resting on the seventh day praying yes going to church yes. and that's why we have that's why we celebrate on sunday right yes. and go to church on sunday we yeah. take some time to remember and to honor god on the sabbath we should honor god every day of the week right yeah. but we should at least make sure that we take some extra time to pray and to sing and to praise him on the Sabbath. All right, so what... Like we shouldn't just make a... Like we should teach people how to do it. All right, so the next commandment is commandment number five. five. So we hold up our five fingers and we say, Honor Your thy father, father and thy mother. And we Your salute. Your favorite. It is my favorite because you get to honor me. And you get to honor me, me and too. That's right. I have to honor my parents, and we should all honor our parents. And what does that mean? How do we honor our parents? By, res by listening to them. By listening to them, by respecting them, obeying, and loving them. And I love you. <laughs> Yeah, I do. All right, so the reason we do this motion is because this is sign language for father and, and mother. mother, and then we do the salute. That means that shows respect. That shows respect. Now, who does salutes? Um, usually the people in the army. People in the military. Yes. They will give a salute to their commanding officer. And to the flag. And to the American flag. That's right. And they would salute to the president. Now, when <clears throat> now we're not in the army. I was never in the military. So I don't salute the flag. And I'll never be in the military like the army. Right. But how do we put? How do we show our respect for the flag? Put our hand over our heart. Right. That's when we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Or when they play the national I anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. I knew you were going to do that. All right, so now that brings us to our next commandment, which is command. We, we've, we've, done yeah, the, we've, we've done the first five. Now we're moving on to commandment number six, which is thou shalt shall not, not kill. kill. <clears throat> so we're going to... And if you look up there, yeah. that says never hurt anyone. Right, never hurt See, anyone. Like that girl is... Shooting that boy and that boy is hitting that girl. Right. Should we ever hurt people? No. no. And we should never hurt each other. No, we shouldn't. All right. So this is kind of like people, and this is kind of like a gun. A gun. Thou shall not kill. <laughs> All right. So should we ever kill people? No. What if we're really, really, really angry with them? Should Is that okay to kill them then? No. What if we just... 
kill people at random. Is that okay? No. No, no, we shouldn't hurt you, anybody. You should only kill someone if you try to protect someone, if someone's life is in danger, or yours. That's correct. All right, so uh, that brings us to our next commandment that we did. Thou shall not kill. The next one's a little... Oh, oh, look at the camera, the, honey. Oh, oh, there we go. The next one is thou shall, shall not, not commit adultery. Adult, where adultery is a kind of a, a growing up word, isn't it? Yes. You don't hear kids say that. No, but what? Like if, that means a husband and wife should always stick together. Yes, the husband and wife should always stick together, oh, in good that? times and in bad, in sickness and in health, richer or for poorer. Because when you promise to marry someone, you are making a promise to your wife. Or your husband but you're also making it to, to God. God that's to right God. so it's a very special promise it's even more powerful than a pinky promise yeah it is all right so that brings us to our next commandment commandment number eight and we're gonna hold up our eight fingers and commandment number eight is thou shall not steal no. and that's an easy one to remember because it kind of looks like you're just stealing a cookie jar Thou shall not steal. Or stealing a candy jar. Yeah. Who took the candy from the candy jar? Okay, sit down. Oh, I took the candy <laughs> from the candy jar. All right, and that, that's going to bring us to our next commandment, <laughs> which is commandment number nine. Now, this one, the hand motion is a little unusual. Yeah. We're holding up nine fingers, so we have five fingers on one hand and four on the other. And what we're saying is... Bear <clears throat> false. Wait. Bear fall, no, thou shall not bear false Wait, that witness. Is bear. Yes, but it's not like a bear like in the woods. It's bear like I'm bearing my soul or, or I'm expressing myself. So it's you should not. It means you shouldn't tell lies. Yes. Or you shouldn't gossip about people. What does that mean? Well, that means should you make up stories about people that aren't true? Ah. No, that would be lying, wouldn't it? And that you shouldn't be... make up people that. Oh, it's real. It's <laughs> okay, but... No. Well, if you're, if you're writing a story, it's okay. If, yeah. you're, if you're telling a creative story, that's all right. If you're playing. Yes, and you, you can, it's good to use your imagination, but you, we shouldn't tell lies that would hurt other people, right? And hurt their feelings? No. No, we shouldn't. So what, this mean, what we're doing is thou shalt not bear false witness because four is not five. five. If we tried to tell you that four is five, would we lying. would be lying. That would not be true. Four is not five. But what if someone believed you? That four is five? Mm -hmm. Then we would be tricking them, and that would be lying too, because that would be being And like, deceitful. what if they didn't go to school yet, and we told them that, right. and they raised their hand at school, and they said, four is five. And the teacher said, would it say, no, it's not. Right, it's not because four is not five. So saying four is five is lying, bearing false witness, right? Because that's an obje yes. it's an objective truth. Five is five, it is not four. Four is four, it is not five. All right, moving on to the final commandment. Are you ready? The last one. The last Thou one. Thou shalt not love it. That's another funny and word. And if you look up there on the it says, be happy with what you have, but don't, don't, don't wish for other people's things. Don't wish for other people's things. Be happy and grateful with what you have. Yeah. We shouldn't be jealous of what other people have yeah. or do. So covet is a fancy church word that means don't be jealous. Ah. Don't be jealous. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. All right, so now that we've gone through the Ten Commandments, and Amelia and I studied each one of them with our Luther's Small Catechism book, and she picked this song up so fast, she picked it up in about two days, but let's sing it together now that we've gone over all ten of the commandments. We know what they mean, we've learned the hand gestures, and we'll practice them together right now. Yes. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, no graven images or take thy name in vain remember the sabbath and keep it holy 
honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill or commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal or bear false witness. Oh, I forgot to cover my mouth. Thou shalt not covet with this the law is finished. These are the Lord's Ten Commandments. That was really good, Amelia. Bye. I, I hope you enjoyed it, and, and maybe now this will be an easy way for you to learn it, because it's always easier to learn something with a song and with hand gestures. And we hope you enjoy it, and maybe this will help you learn the Ten Commandments for yourself, because the Ten Commandments are really important. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye.